Kalin at the Falls of Dockert, a hidden gem situated at the west end of Loch Tay with the majestic Shihalian mountain rising above the picturesque little town. Wish that I could stay in this moment forever so I can hold you in my arms. I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm the monsters under your bed Deep in the biting Liking for you is all I need Until my heart gives in I will do everything I can for you We park up for the night, five minutes walk along the road, overlooking the winding, fast-flowing River Dockart. First thing on our mind is stretching our legs, and for this we head on to the Rob Roy Way, a 79-mile trail running from the town of Pitlochry to the quaint little town of Drimmon, situated by the banks of Loch Lomond. Don't want to sleep tonight at all Just want to watch them stars fall But you don't want to try to make up dreams Just to be seen I want to lay here beside you Oh, quiet Fire breath and open sky It's not what we know It's where we go I go wings and tell her goodbye well, It's not what we see It's what we choose to be and beer feet Oh But you each second is a tree it, 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 I keep my balance next to you It's true Nowadays there's nothing I wouldn't do For you Fire breath and open sky It's not what we know, it's where we go. I grow wings and tell her goodbye. It's not what we see, it's what we choose to be. We're beyond good, I've never been so ready. We undertake an enjoyable three and a half mile circular walk, taking in the ruins of Finlarig Castle. 
Finlaric Castle was first built by Clan Campbell in the year 1629, but was at a later date passed on to Clan McNabb. One interesting feature is a deep pit still there today. It was used to behead people of noble birth. Common people were not afforded this luxury and were hanged from a nearby oak tree. Any luck? Eh? Any luck? <laughs> well, what I've done is we had an error code 04 coming up and that's the fuel pump so it looks like it's busted for the night so at the side of a river it's maybe a cold one but what I've done is it's you've got a fuel pump and the filter and the filter was dripping stuff out as well so Basically the fuel pump and the, the filter's gone and what I've done is I've put a zip tie over the fuel line so that it's not sitting dripping anything out, you know. It'd only been whatever was in the filter anyway but we'll just be using the van heater for a wee while <laughs> and I've got an idea. What? Why don't we go for a meal in a nice warm <laughs> pub for a change <laughs> rather than sitting in the van. I think we'll do that, yeah. I think that's a good idea. Yep. So, and this is where we are. From a cold freezing van. I'll see you next time in the, rather than under a van, I'll see you in the pub. <laughs> Hi guys, new plan, as we said earlier, diesel heaters broke, so we're only parked five minutes along the roads uh, from Killin, the Falls of Dockart, so we've booked a table at the, the pub. We're going to go there for a nice bit of food and a wee Jack Daniels and a wee rum. A wee rum. And hopefully we don't get run down on the way back to the van. <laughs> but we've, we've ordered, as you do, the, the joys of modern life and internet. We've ordered the new fuel pump and fuel filter for the diesel heater and we'll fix them when we get back. So we're on it. So we're on it. We're on a mission tonight. We're going to have fun in the pub and hopefully head out of the pub and go in the right direction and remember <laughs> where we parked the van <laughs> and some dark lay by. So we'll say to the lose for now and we'll see you on the way back. Well my friends, so we have on the way home now but we've stopped off in a small place beside Loch Voyle called Balquidder and it's the site of the grave of the famous Rob Roy McGregor, a well-known outlaw. So we're going to just quickly check that out. And then after that, let's head down the road time after a good trip away. Rob Roy McGregor, born in 1671, was a famous outlaw and cattle thief hunted for most of his life by various clans and the English Redcoat soldiers. He somehow survived and lived to the ripe old age of 70 years old and is now viewed as a Scottish folk hero. Well folks, that's it for this week. We hope you enjoyed our tour of the Killin area of Persia. If you could take two seconds out of your day to hit that like and subscribe button, it would be really appreciated. Join me next week as I undertake a solo hike into the Lost Valley in the magnificent Glencoe, where we will explore this extremely beautiful area. And with that, we'll bid you farewell and many thanks for watching.